Don't hate it. But I'm trash. Oh, hoy hoy, everyone. It's Craig here. I'm Rhino. And we are at Disney's Hollywood Studios because we are eating at Fairfax Fair. They have a brand new menu. Uh, it may look like it's closed right behind us. That is the truth. It is now closed. Closed at three o'clock and well, it's way past that now. We already ate there. We just forgot to record an intro first. So no worries. You're gonna have our review from there. Before we get started though, I have to remind you that this is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you like us and you wanna support our content, please consider booking your next Disney vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. Costs you no extra money. They'll work their hardest to make sure you have the perfect vacation and it costs you no extra money. So get a free no obligation quote today at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. Then also please make sure that you hit the thumbs up on this video. Make sure you're subscribed. You're leaving comments, questions, and video suggestions in the comment section. Now I'm really excited about this menu because it is hot dog base. Hot dog. That's what I was hoping you would say, Rhino. So. Let's go ahead, get a little closer, look at the menu, make some decisions. Let's get to eating. Let's look at what we got here. An all beef quarter pound hot dog, truffle bacon macaroni and cheese hot dog, pretzel dog, California BLTA dog, Chicago style hot dog salad, plant-based, snacking cookie, Lots of drinks. Neon green relish vinaigrette. Well, I nope. think we're gonna find out. Nope. I got the Chicago style hot dog salad because anything that ever says hot dog salad, I would definitely get on a menu. It's 11.49, it is plant-based. It is romaine blend, plant-based bratwurst, sliced sports peppers, tomatoes, onions, house-made dill pickles, sweet relish, mustard and poppy and celery seed, brioche croutons tossed in neon green relish vinaigrette. I am not a fan of relish, to be honest with you. So I'm a little concerned about this, but it said hot dog salad. I could not get a hot dog salad. Also the fact that it was plant-based, but like this is kryptonite on top of here is what this looks like. It literally is that same color. I'm going in. They took a little bit longer to make this um, this salad. They said they've been selling the, the, the plant-based bratwurst a little faster than they thought they were today, but they were very kind about it. So it's all good. So we're just gonna go in. Get some celery or whatever this is. Oh, it's all over the place. I'm gonna get a picky. Lettuce. Mm -hmm. Just as I thought. Disgustingly delicious. Um, this brat. Nope. Oh, spit my food right back out. This bratwurst is like, is really good, really flavorful. I don't know what kind this is. I'll assume Beyond because I feel like most of them. I don't know. They use both here, so I'm not sure, but. Um, it's good, it's flavorful. I actually really like the mustard on the salad with the pickle, it's, it's crazy. Um, I'm gonna try a little bit of this, this relish though, because this looks questionable at best here. So just by itself. Maybe I like relish now, I don't know. Is it a sweet relish or? Yeah, it is, which I, and I usually don't like sweet pickles. That's the thing. So this is, I'm having a weird, having a weird thing here. Should I put ketchup on this salad? No. Absolutely not. That's where the tomatoes are for. Mmm. Um, got a couple of those sports peppers in here, but they're not quite sliced, I think, like it's supposed to be. Oh, there's more in the box. Because I was going to say, there's only like three or four. I feel like I could use a little bit more of those, but so far, so far, I don't know. I'm a little surprised. A little surprised. Don't hate it. But I'm trash. I'm not going to lie. All of the hot dogs sounded really good to me, even the plain one. I was very tempted to go with the pretzel dog, but ultimately I had to go with the California BLTA dog because, you know, that just, it spoke to me. It just, it seemed like it was the most fun on the menu. 1149, it's an all beef quarter pound hot dog topped with lettuce, tomato, avocado, applewood bacon, crushed ranch tortilla chips, Doritos, uh, and house made black pepper mayonnaise on a brioche butter bun served with pickled vegetables. And there is so much stuff happening. And I just need to clarify, the pickled vegetables are on the side. 
the, not on the hot dog. So the pickled vegetables are your side dish, but the hot dog is really, really cute. And you know, it's got those cool ranch Doritos, uh, whatever they called it, not Doritos. Don't say Doritos, it's not Doritos. It's ranch Doritos. tortilla chips. <laughs> yeah, ranch tortilla chips. And a lot of the toppings are- hey. Hey, did you know Doritos were invented at Disneyland? I did that. I did know that. I did that, actually. That's what I meant to say. You it invented wasn't, them? It wasn't Frito-Lay or the Frito Kid. It was actually Craig Williams. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, no, this is uh, this looks like a solid dog, and all the toppings, for the most part, are, you know, they're sunk down in on the side, which I like. I don't want all the toppings to just fall off mm -hmm. as I take my first bite, but, you know what, it's still going to happen anyways, and I apologize in advance to the cast member who has to clean this table because it's going to get messy. This is a really nice hot dog. And I know this is not gourmet food by any stretch of the imagination, but this is just done really well. I love the tomatoes and avocado in there. It's actually cooling the entire thing down. Uh, just, you know, like a cooler profile to it. And then that bacon and the, the mustard and the, the Doritos are all adding a nice, like a salty, tangy zip to it all so there's really nice bouncing flavors and then you just can't beat a big thick hot dog like this it's it's really really good this is uh you know this is one of those hot dogs it's just why do they need to put this much crap on a hot dog but i'm okay with it this is this is tasty this is really tasty but let me try the pickled vegetables I see there's like cauliflower and jalapenos and peppers in there. It looks like an actual really nice uh, combination. Rhino just said it was a weird choice, and it is, but I love the spiciness of it with the jalapenos. Uh, it's not like overly pickled. It's not like just soaked in vinegar. It's just that light flavor. It's almost like just dashed vinegar on top of it. So it's actually really, it's a, it's a really nice side to have with the hot dog and better than just eating like a, a bag of chips, let's say, or, uh, you know, french fries with it. Just a nice light side to go with the hot dog. But we have lots to eat here, so we'll update you on what we think in just a little bit. So because our, uh, but specifically the hot dog salad took so long to come out to make the, the bratwurst, which in the end was just, uh, was really good. So I'm, I'm happy it took as long as it did, I guess. But um, they gave us, uh, each of us, a snacking sandwich cookie, which is on the menu over here. It is $4.99. It is fluffy vanilla marshmallow sandwich between pretzel and potato chip shortbread cookies covered in ch dark chocolate and sea salt. This is a potato chip cookie? I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite this right now. I'm you gonna should. eat this right now. You don't you take should. people's potato chips. Oh, you're gonna cut it though. Oh uh, yeah, I should have just used my hands because I went to cut it and it fell apart. Well, I'm gonna get a little bit of the marshmallow. Show enough, that marshmallow is light and fluffy. I'm gonna like prop this up. I don't wanna touch it. if like marshmallowy things are for me like I like the flavor of marshmallow but when there's too much marshmallow in something I always feel like it's not the texture I want from it so the chocolate's good I mean the cookie I don't really get a lot of the potato chips or the pretzel I kind of wish it was like in the cookie maybe so it would be like a little crunchier but um it's fine I mean I can't you can't beat a free dessert I guess right yeah it's just kind of crumbly falling apart here because I can't pick it up like an adult human being when I first saw it sitting out on the plate, I actually thought it was an ice cream sandwich for a second. Uh, it's, it's a really beautiful dessert, I will say that. And I love dark chocolate, so I'm glad it's on there. And potato chips, pretzels, sweet, salty. It's everything that I think I would like, but like right now I'm concerned it might be a little too much marshmallow for me, which is why we didn't even add it to our order to begin with. But here goes nothing. I'm having a similar problem as Rhino with the dessert. It's uh, the chocolate side has a lot of structural integrity to it and it's holding up well. And to me, it is like a sweet and salty s'more. It's, it actually is a perfect balance of flavors. I really love it. I also like the side that's just marshmallow in the, the, the crust, but that side is crumbling apart. Uh, for me, it's actually, I, I'm happy with the amount of marshmallow, so. Yeah, I like this. I, I don't know if I would eat this all by myself. I can't eat this all by myself, but I think I think if you're you're here with your 
your, your loved ones and you want to all take a bite of this dessert, I'd say it's actually worth a shot. It's pretty fun and it's so pretty to look at and tastes good too. Hot diggity dog. Full disclosure, I said we weren't going to eat all of the dessert, or at least I said I wasn't going to eat all the dessert. I ate all the dessert. I did too. Every little bit of it. I immediately regretted it, but uh, yeah, ultimately you're right. It is a good dessert. It's, it's, when I got more into mine, it was like the, there was more pretzel in the other part I bit, and I like that salty. I like a dessert. I wish it was like frozen or like in a smaller portion. Yeah. Maybe like pieces. Like if it was like four pieces or something, it would be easier. But yeah, more bite-sized versions yeah. of it. I I still think it would be awesome as an ice cream sandwich as well too with marshmallow agree. ice cream. But okay. I love the menu now at Fairfax Fair. At least the two things we got. Obviously we didn't get everything, but uh, rhino salad did look strangely appealing to me. I can't obviously talk about it though. I didn't take any bites of it. We're not sharing our food yet like we would in the old days. That was disgusting of us. Yeah, yeah, gross but, people. Yeah, we're gross people. But I loved my hot dog and I thought it was just the right balance of all flavors. It, again, it had, that, it had that cool side with the avocado, but then also with the Cool Ranch Doritos, a little bit of a cool to it, I but like then that, the yeah. saltiness of that and the tanginess of the mustard. A big, good. juicy hot dog. It was really good. And those pickled vegetables were just so refreshing. You know, the carrots, the jalapenos had in that spice. I really, really loved it. For $11.49, to me, awesome, awesome meal. It once again now makes my decisions even harder at Hollywood Studios because now yeah. I have to decide between Galaxy's Edge with Docking Bay 7 and Ronto Roasters, but then also Woody's Lunchbox with sandwiches and now Fairfax Fair with delicious hot dogs. But yeah. what about your salad? Where did you land? Uh, yeah, ultimately, I overall, I enjoyed the salad. I literally, as I was finishing it, I was like, I w I'm gonna, I wanna make this at home. Um, my only complaint about it is because it's like romaine um, and like tomatoes are in it. It got, it got a little wet toward the end. It felt like it was starting to get, um, just because of like, I don't know. I also, I don't like salads that use romaine. They always feel cheap. And I, I like a good spring mix or, arugula or spinach or something like that so i i'd ultimately like if i remake this i would love to i would love to do it with like spring mix i think but um honestly i love the idea of it though it, it's I, I love a chicago dog um because i love the pepper like those those sports peppers on there and those were really really good in the salad and there ended up being a fair amount of them in the salad which i was really happy with because i was worried there was only like four but there ended up being maybe about like eight and they're, they're just small little peppers but it really somehow like the peppers with the like they chose the right, the right plant-based dog to put in here because it was like that combination of flavor with that dog, the peppers, and like the crunch of the salad. It was just, it was the, having the croutons be the the, the brioche croutons yeah. was a really really clever idea because you take a bite and you'd be like, wow, that this literally tastes like a hot dog salad, like literally in the best way that it could. And so I I I was like. I'm actually surprisingly into this. Like, I, I enjoyed it. Like I said, I think I'm going to try and do it at my house. Like, yeah. um, and it was the same price as yours, I believe. 11 dollars 49 Yeah, so that, and that's, uh, but it was, it just comes with just the salad with that one. So you don't get like a side of anything. Yeah, but. Uh, but I, I thought it was pretty good portion size. I, I thought so too. And you know what? I guess the romaine's better if they would, than if they would just go with like iceberg. But oh, yeah, I, no, I hate iceberg. Yeah, yeah so. I, I get it. I get it all. But the portion size of yours looked really, really nice. And you know what? I think I think it's both the salad based on what I was looking at it with and then my hot dog. I think these are perfect lunch portions for yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I do like a good uh, I like a good hearty lunch from time to time, one that's filling but not like too over the top. I didn't feel like I was super full until we added on the dessert with it. Yeah, now so. I'm like, oh, well, it's hot too. And so, I, but I thought that's why I thought it was really interesting to have pickled vegetables as the yeah. side instead of like the basic chips which you can still get, I believe, over here. But yeah, yes. it was, and, and there was interesting stuff on them because it was a truffle macaroni and cheese hot dog yeah. too. That, like I was like, ooh, I bet that's good too. Yeah, that seemed a little too bitey for me today a pretzel, though. too, maybe. Yeah, I, I, I'm, very, I'm very intrigued with Fairfax Fair. I, I'd yeah. say the new menu uh, is a hit. I would recommend coming out to try it. Just remember that the hours are a little crazy, at least right now. Uh, having it close at three o'clock, it's definitely a lunch spot, not an all-day spot. So yeah. don't don't head to the park at six, seven o'clock expecting expecting to get dinner here because 
you're not going to get your hot dog. You're going to Docking Bay 7 at that point. Exactly, and that's a perfect spot that you can have a nice, big, quick service meal that's fairly priced, but still feels like an elevated experience. Yeah, so for sure. you can't go wrong with that either. But seriously, check out the new menu at Fairfax Fair. I think it's worth it. No, yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually like surprised because I know it's just crazy too, because like it's just hot dogs. But it's like, it's like what you said, the hot, it, it's like quality hot dog. It was a thick hot dog, it was, you know, there was there was good portion size. It wasn't just in a basic bun. You had that butter, yeah. like brioche bun. And I, so I think like for the amount you're paying it, it really does, it's like, okay, that's why. It's like, yeah. it's like you know, not gourmet, but it's like somewhere in between. Oh no, it was gourmet. I just, I recently said on another show that we did that, uh, that I think Casey's Corners, big loaded dogs and stuff are a little bit overrated, but this wasn't. This no, was yeah, not this trying was to go yeah. over the top. It was the right balance. Yeah. And I know I will be back again. Yeah. But yeah. I think that's it for this Disney dining review. I forgot what we were doing yeah, here. Uh, if you enjoyed it and we convinced you to come out to here to eat, but you need help booking that vacation to get here, of course, dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. Get that free no obligation quote today. And also make sure you hit the thumbs up, hit that like button, make sure you're subscribed and leave us comments, questions, video suggestions in the comment section below. But that's it for us here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We'll see you again soon with another Disney dining review. Take care. Bye-bye.